What's going on, guys? MDLP from the Battle Axe, the strongman gym in Miami, where strength is everything. See, I have to use the left hand this time. Uh, there's a mirror behind me because my door has a mirror. So I love to look at myself. That's just weird, though. It's like an optical illusion. Uh, it throws me off. Um, still making videos for the modern day Viking. Um, I was asked a question about a buddy of mine about last week, and I really forgot. It's got a new haircut. Getting my mohawk ready for Raw Unity tomorrow. Supporting people, Claudia, and watching all the big, big boys lift. Maybe I'll meet Mark Bell. What else? Um, and I was asked a question last week. I just forgot to get to it um, about preps for a strongman event day. Now, for people who aren't familiar with strongman, normally, which is pretty well, uh, it's well rounded. I guess you can say it's accepted. Most strongmen train a day, one day of the week, where you train all your implement training. Meaning, a Saturday where you'll do stones, a log, you'll run some farmers. Um, normally run between two, two to four events on that day. Some people run more because they're badasses. They don't all necessarily have to be implement training, but they have to do something that can be in a competition. So it represents an event or a competition, thus event training so um, that day for me is Saturday um, I basically I run about two to three events now I'm running currently three events so I'll do two implements and a third movement whether it's for speed um, or medley or conditioning just to get my body used to more work as nationals gets closer I'll be doing more implement work and probably longer event days because nationals is uh, I guess it's rumored or it's talked about being a three-day event this time. So I have to get my ass used to this kind of stuff. So how do I prep for this day? Um, very simple. The day before Friday, I don't do anything. Now, I've had times where I've done speed work Friday morning or I do light bodybuilding or accessory work um, or run like cardio. Like on the by cardio, I mean conditioning. <laughs> I can't do cardio. But uh, maybe light movements on the rower, um, keep my body fat down. Light medleys, light sandbags, light farmers, kegs, etc., sledgehammers. Um, Friday morning. Now, I've seen the best gains when I take Friday completely off. Completely. I don't do anything. Um, I do some mobility, nothing too intense. Um, I do sometimes get physical therapy or massage therapy on Friday. Again, not crazy deep tissue that's going to leave my body really tired and achy, but rather light, kind of more stretch um, oriented. Oriented? Yeah, oriented. God, I'm so Hispanic sometimes. Blah. So um, I, I use that uh, the day before to get my body prepped. Now, um, the way I eat is real simple. I eat the way I always eat. I will eat the same way I would eat like if I had lifted. So I don't really, I guess some people would call it carbo loading, but I will eat about three, four, maybe 500 grams of carbohydrates. I normally eat about four to 500 on a lifting day. I'll probably have around 400 the day before to keep my body big and bulky. And it represents how I'm gonna eat the day before a competition. So I don't go and necessarily have like five burgers and go and stuff my face with food that I'm not used to. Um, I go ahead and just eat a lot of the food that I've been constantly eating so to, for example today I had a big breakfast steak and eggs with pancakes I'll eat rice and chicken in the afternoon I'll eat it again uh, probably stuffed cabbage that has rice in it things that I've just randomly home cooked meals um, that I have at dinner I'll have a big meal probably not red meat because red meat sticks a little heavy in my stomach chicken or pork and again rice I eat a lot of white rice so my calories are up I have a, a, a bulk that feels good my body is full of carbohydrates um, and the protein, obviously, I have high fats to help digestion. You don't want to not be able to go to the bathroom and just feel kind of just stuffed up. So I take, obviously, I don't skip on my multivitamins. I try to hydrate more than normal. Probably have around, for me, about 245 right now, 240. How about a gallon and a half? I'm also, I own my gym, so I, I'm constantly working and sweating. So I try to have almost two gallons on a good day. And this includes um, electrolytes. I don't only just drink water because a lot of water just flushes me out of all my vitamins and stuff I'm taking. So I have 
have Gatorades or drop noon tablets and stuff uh, if it's available, BCAAs, etc. Um, and that's it. It allows me to wake up Saturday morning early. I train early in the morning, normally around 8. Um, this weekend I'll be going to, again, say Port St. Lucie to train. So about 9, I have a long car ride ahead of me. So I'll wake up early, probably have some coffee. Uh, but I'll wake up feeling a little hungry, but not too crazy. That's what happens when you eat a lot. And you're good to go. And your day is you're ready for this competition. You're full. You feel like you would feel the day you wake up for a comp. A little anxious about lifting heavy. Plenty of energy because of the day before. Um, Fridays, take them off, guys. If you can just rest one week as a strong man, rest the day before an event training. That's going to tell you where you're at in your implement training. It's going to tell you where you're at and how ready you are for comp. So um, hope that helps. I should because normally I'm pretty right. Uh, and uh, keep the training going, guys. Cheers.